Hi everyone, my name's Sean. I am CTO over at Stronghold. Uh, I used to actually operate one of the early Ripple gateways back in 2014. So uh, back when Ripple Trade was still a thing. I remember hearing about Interledger back then, obviously quite a different project, uh, but really excited to be, you know, getting to know what Interledger is now. Um, so over at Stronghold, we've been looking at ILP for uh, in depth, maybe the last two months, really working alongside Strata to help us out and get it implemented. We're best known for our US dollar stablecoin. So I'll show you a little bit uh, with that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some funds over SPSP via a payment pointer over to a Stronghold wallet. So Stronghold does operate uh, a cryptocurrency exchange which runs on top of the Stellar Ledger. So behind this account is this Stellar Ledger address. Right, you can see I have no USD, 2.511 XRP. I also have some lumens uh, which don't show up in my balances here because that's the minimum reserve required to operate the account. Okay, so I'm going to start a stream. Uh, this is just a, a basic wallet, uh, and I will send that to a stronghold payment pointer, um, and that's just going to be my name, and this is an XRP pointer. So when I hit send, it's going to start sending the stream. Now, this is a really basic wallet. It's only going to return when the whole stream finishes. So this is one XRP being sent, thankfully, uh, with Strata's connector, it does actually go through a little bit faster than some of the other SPSP payments. So you can see there the XRP has been sent to that particular ILP address. Um, over at Stronghold, you'll notice that the XRP balance still hasn't updated, uh, and it will take a little while to go through. Um, essentially, Stronghold is uh, batching payments at certain time intervals. So we don't update the stream and settle it directly to your account straight away we're going to spend some time waiting for a considerable amount to come through, and then we're going to settle that directly onto the Stellar ledger for you. So this is actually XRP anchored onto Stellar. You can see the balance has started to go up there, and now it's at 2.8 uh, XRP. So if I refresh the page again, it may have gone up. It will auto-refresh, it just it takes some time. Okay, so you can see there on the ledger it's now 3.5. So that one uh, XRP has gone through, I can now withdraw that from my account, I can send it somewhere else on the Stellar network or back to the XRP ledger directly. But that's not really what we think people will be using Stronghold for. So I'm going to send one more payment. Uh, I'll still just do one XRP. And I'm going to use a slightly different payment pointer this time. Still attached to the exact same account. Uh, but you may be able to guess what's going to happen here. So I've initiated one XRP stream uh, over to uh, my Sean USD payment pointer. And cross your fingers that goes through. Okay, so it's been sent. And again, we play the waiting game to see what happens over on my Stronghold account. On the first tab, what was the feedback you were looking for to notice that it was sent? Uh, this tab here. <coughs> Sorry? Was I looking on this stream to notice whether it's sent? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the form disappears and it tells me that the one XRP has been sent to that oh, ILP address. Right, it says yeah. right there, I'm sorry. No yes. So I'm going to refresh the page, see if anything's come through. Okay, it's starting to come through, right? There we go. Um, so hopefully we'll see that tick up over the next few seconds. Uh, essentially what's happened there, it's actually hit the uh, trade book here. So I'm on the XRP USD market and you can actually see up in the top right hand side you can see two trades made one for 0 0.22 XRP and one for 0 0.78 so those are two batches of that one XRP that went through. So they were sold on the market and they've been settled to my account. So you can see there it's 36 cents which is the value of one XRP. So thankfully that worked. Uh, I can then withdraw that 36 cents, if I had enough to pay for the fees, uh, to uh, USACH or to a wire, domestic or international. Now, yes, we are enabling people to do it through AUI, but it's really our preference that they connect through APIs. So you're able to automatically create accounts, send through KYC information, and then retrieve a payment pointer and uh, submit the ACH or wire 
requests directly from your own application. Uh, you can completely white label us away. You can display a stronghold brand and co-brand it if you want. That's up to you. Uh, but this is what we're looking to uh, bring to ILP. Thanks very much. Yeah, so for, uh, the question was what are the US dollar withdrawal options? So domestic uh, ACH in the US, fund in we can do the ACH pool, uh, where it's, the, you know, it's about three to five days. Uh, we can do a same day wire in the US. International, it's currently just international wire. So you're looking at about 35 to 50 dollar fee. And, and transaction limits based on KYC? Uh, based on KYC and, and you know what we already know about you. Great. Thanks very much.